wraps up now to give me altitude. All right. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're having a lovely day so far. Um, so today, what I'll be doing is we'll be well not today. So let's start again, shall we? <laughs> Uh, this afternoon what we'll be doing I hope we spend the whole day on this <laughs> I hope not, I hope I'm not that bad um, but we'll be doing the landing challenges on Flight Simulator so as I said in my last video these are sort of the main bit of experience that I've got in this game um, so all my experience when it comes to flying games because I, I will look like I roughly know what I'm doing I hope at least that comes across to you guys but um, it's because uh, of all my experience comes from um, combat games like fighter games ace combat battle build etc etc so when it comes to like throwing the plane around i think i could do all right with that when it comes to like all these little atc autopilot little corrections um uh, a little bit slow pace for me <laughs> but we'll get there we're learning together don't worry guys um so what will we do in these ones is i'm going to try and have a go at a few um i'd like to get the top layer done and as you can see, I have done a few already because that's sort of my, what my experience is in this game, uh, which made me want to start filming with it. Um, I have done a few, but what we will try and do today is the top four. If we can't do the top four uh, because I suck and we can't get we can't get it going, then we'll just see how long it takes me to do a few. But we'll start off with this one, the first one. I mean, looking at it, it doesn't look too hard. Uh, I mean, there's other ones on here where there's like rocks either side, things like that. Uh, looking at it, I'd say the only sort of big issue is, I mean, if I come in and I have to do a go around because my landing is shit, then uh, I will have to uh, avoid that massive rock there, which, woohoo. But looking at this challenge, wow, uh, pronouncing this name is gonna be fun. Is a Ford, it, is your forger? Is your forger? Is uh, is ah oh, fuck? Is after? Is after? Uh, this is. We're just gonna call it Iceland. Um, so Iceland Airport is a small regional airport that serves the small west west fjords aspect of. Uh, of northwestern Iceland great it's a single 4,500 foot runway which is quite short now a normal runway like Heathrow is about 15,000 feet um, so it's obviously landing something like a big jumbo on here is gonna be a little bit difficult but as you can see I'm using this tiny little Cessna up here so I think it should be alright uh, tucked into a southeastern rook of a fjord uh, making landing here really tricky. It requires pilots nimbleness and precision whilst flying inside the tight confines of the surrounding topography. Uh, once at your base leg, which lies deep within the fjord, turn hard left, fly for less than a mile, and then make another left turn to line up the stick to the landing. Right, so the high scores, I mean, sometimes you look at the high scores in the top what do you call it, in the, in the top 10 of the world, people have maxed out the score. The max score is 2 million. So the fact that people haven't even maxed out the score on this tells me that's going to be quite a pain in the ass. Then again, saying that, who knows, I haven't done it before. But yeah, we'll fly this little tiny Cessna. We'll see how that goes. I don't think I've flown the Cessna before. I follow someone on TikTok and they've got their own Cessna. They live on a road. That Well, not a road, they live on a runway. And it's like how everyone lives where they've got a house and then they've got a road with loads of our houses on it they've got a runway with loads of houses on it and instead of garages and garages it's uh it's hangars they've got their own planes i think that's insane and super cool that is like end life goals as you can see by the picture here it's telling me that i need to do that sharp turn barely any wind only three knots wow but you can't see anything i mean you can over the runway which is great but I don't know where that big cloud is, but I hope I'm not flying through it. Okay, it doesn't look like I am. Um, all right, so what is the... Oh, so there's the runway. Oh, so the two left-hand turns it was telling me about is just like a U-turn, a good old U-E. Pop a U-E in a plane. Uh, so looking on here, there I am. There's the runway. Fair enough. Um, 
it told me to land around, I think it was like 78 knots. So we will have a crack at it. But, I mean, this plane already has fixed landing gear, so I don't worry about that. This looks easy. Um, famous last words. We'll have a crack at this. So I'm going to go as far west as I can and try and almost skim that um, because I think that the longer or the further away I am from it when I get lined up obviously it will make it much easier so if I go up here and then I start turning it gives me much longer to line up I mean the, the water reflecting off the mountain over there makes it look like it's just a ditch imagine, imagine just coming in to land and you're just staring at the ground like that as a passenger. Wow. Terrifying. Alright, so I'm coming in a bit fast. I'll put the flaps further down so it gives me that angle. Uh, so how these landing challenges work is I'm, it's like precision my slope, which as you can see right now is awful because I keep moving around, and then like roll whilst I'm on the deck um, of like how much I move and stuff. So we will have to see what score I get. I have to try and land on, precision is one of them, but I have to try and land directly on this blue marker. Um, so we'll go there. I think I missed it, but that was quite a smooth landing. You guys can already see the difference when it's like me in a fucking massive A320, missing everything uh, in comparison to um, what score is that? That's a B, first time. I'm happy with that. Um, I'll give it another go, just for the sake of trying. Um, that was decent. Precision was good. Uh, smoothness is the lowest score. I don't. I don't know. I'd be happy with that as a as a pass, as a customer, paying customer. My butt wouldn't be too sore. I like that. Yeah, seventy eight knots. Um, but yeah, uh, what was I just saying before I forgot? I don't know anymore. So we'll pretend I wasn't speaking. There we go. Um, I will try again for the sake of trying because if I just smash it first time, it's a bit boring. But also, we'll see if we can actually beat that score. Um, now that we know that, I need to get a little bit more smooth. But you will see that these smaller, more nimble aircraft I'm much more comfortable in because it's very uh, reminiscent of me playing Ace Combat a lot, Battlefield a lot. Um, so, um, so planes will give you instant response in games that do too. Um, whereas obviously this, it's much more like you have to plan ahead. If I want to make a turn, I need to be thinking about it minutes in advance instead of just like, oh, let's pop a Yui, as I said earlier. So, but this is this plane feels more like my jam. Do I do a barrel roll? Crash, let's try it. No, it wouldn't, it wouldn't do it. It wouldn't do it that well. Yeah, I could already feel it just sort of. You can tell if a plane's going to give it to you or not because when you go to like this angle, it's approaching on the 90 degree angle, it just slows down drastically when it comes to the roll. So it'll give you this bit, the, the early degrees, like it'll give you really quick, but as soon as you get to here, it starts like slowly doing it. And then you're like, yeah, by the time I'm upside down, I'm going to be in the ground, so that's not too comfortable. So, should we try this first person? I think we're going to try this first person. Let's make myself a little bit higher, because I'm not short. Um, yeah, I think, I think we can. I think we can do this first person. This looks like it would be really... I mean, look at that. Imagine coming into land and just seeing... Ah, oh, I spent so long in the air. Ah, oh, damn it! I spent so long in the air. I flew straight over the uh, the precision marker. My precision is going to be awful. At least this movement will be good. I hope. I think I've made up the score. Yeah, look, the smoothness is great. The precision's awful. Damn it. I think we try once more. I think we try once more. And then we move on to the next. 
because I can get the precision, I can get the smoothness. It's just about sorting my life out and getting them done together and maybe not attempting them. Okay, I lie. I reckon we're gonna try a barrel roll. I'm just getting a little bit of speed. I can't even get to 100 knots, the Cessna's so weak. The girl I follow on TikTok has a Cessna as well. Yeah, look at that. Maybe, actually. Whoa. Flaps up now to give me altitude, please. Oh. Flaps down, sorry. Okay, we did get it. Fair enough. Credit where credit's due, this plane's a little bit more nimble than it felt. Um, yeah. Now, if, now I wouldn't be too happy as a passenger if I got that. But, but again, would I mean these, this plane doesn't have we don't have the luxury where we can just lie to the passengers and just close the blinds and just be like everything's fine. So I think, uh, and also being upside down may give it away a little bit. So, unlike the A320, we can't hide the fact that we're near death. I'm sure they won't mind. What story that is to tell. Oh, I went in for a landing at this normal airport, airport and uh, I was upside down mere minutes before I um, actually landed. Alright, so we, we go slow here. Slow flaps down. Do I have any brakes? Oh, look at the way. Uh, this is a oh, throttle. What are you up there? Propeller. I don't know what. It, oh, way too high. Uh, and that means I'm going to get. <clears throat> way too high at the moment, and I think that means I'm going to come in way too fast. We'll give it a go. Okay, actually, maybe not. Oh, I've missed it again. Should we go around? Should we try? Should we try and go around? Oh, see, I know we said we're going to stall. Flaps, flaps again. Oh. Can't be a normal video without me almost crashing into the sea. Alright, so. Just a quick pop of Yui again. Nice, quick uh, turn. Say what, surely coming from that way would be a million times easier. Look at the amount of length you have to line up. Oh my god, this plane does not like me pulling up that hard. Keeps telling me it's going to stall, but I mean, it just makes it every time. Too fast, but we're setting it down this time. Don't care, this is it. How can the first two times be like near perfect and then the, the time I'm just sort of like whatever? Yeah, look, I didn't even land on the wrong way, Greg. I think that's a sign we'll move on now. Landing challenges. B first time, B second time. I'm happy with that. All right. <clears throat> so now we're looking at uh, Svalbard. Svalbard. Svalbard Airport, a single domestic airport located on the west coast of Svalbard, uh, an archipelago in the middle of the Arctic Ocean, roughly midway between the northern coast of Norway and the North Pole. Just over 78 degrees north latitude, this is the most is the is the northernmost airport in the world with regular regularly scheduled passenger service. Um, it's 8,000 feet long, so it's already double the length of the last one. So, um, I mean, yippee. Um, so it's eight, the 8,000 foot long runway lies uh, just inland of the icy waters of an adverb bay, uh, set amidst truly spectacular scenery of mountains, glaciers, and fjords. This landscape at uh, as beautiful as it is, can prove tricky for pilots. Land at Svalbard is especially, especially with the area's fickle weather. And also, looking at the runway, you can see half of it's white. So, looking to try and land on something that you can't see is always great. I mean, you can just see the landing lights there, 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 and there. So, I can imagine landing at night time won't be 
that much of a difference, but landing during the day when you're looking for that tarmac would be a pain in the ass. Again, this is another one where the best pilot hasn't maxed out the score, so you'd think it's a little bit tricky. But then again, saying that, the last one wasn't too tricky. I was just poor. So, um, Should, do any of the dogs want to help me this time? I don't think so. They're all completely out of it, normally. I was expecting to have like my little co-pilots helping me for today, but, but no, they don't care. Now, as you can see, this plane is very so dark. You can't even see the controls. Um, <coughs> really, um, Neanderthalic controls, um, the control systems and things like that. So uh, this is gonna be fun. Tiny little, is this a Cessna as well? Yeah, Cessna. Uh, flying directly in the sun, I can't see any controls. Now, the only thing I have to go by, guessing where the runway is, is that long slope of white there. I think I can see some runway lights there as well. If this is it, then you would think that the only thing that would make it hard is the weather. Because, I mean, it's, you have all the time in the world to line up. If I mess this up after saying about how easy this looks, then, wow, I'm off. So, yeah, I'm at 800, 700 feet at the moment. Um, yeah, I think this is straightforward. I mean, it's double the length of the last challenge. You've got no weird U-turn you have to make because look at all the space you have there. I mean, that is beautiful. There's something weird about vast nothingness. Um, that is just pretty. In a weird way. When you just look and like, you see the, sort of the sea, it can be gorgeous at times. Even though there's nothing there. It's bizarre. But I'm going to aim for... Yeah, my airspeed is way too high. Can I work flaps? Yeah, I got four flaps. So we'll use that to slow me down too. Um, see that little, can you see that tiny bit of tarmac? I'm aiming for that. Um, I don't know where this, oh, my airspeed is really low. It's 60 knots. Alright, so there's the runway lights. Um, I don't think I've ever been in this plane before, so I don't know what stall speed is, but. I mean, I'm going like 65 knots, which is incredibly slow. That's like 70 miles, 75 miles an hour. I'm going to get cars overtaking this. I will try and land it. Nice and smooth. Oh, no, I bounced. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I've talked a big game and I've bottled it. Go on, what's the score then? A C. Ugh. I've talked a big game and I've just sunk myself now, so uh, there's only so much embarrassment one man can take for the day. But no, we will smash this one out. I'll give you guys a good, a good shot. Can we go barrel roll on this? Yeah, quite easy. How long can this, this thing can we get before crashing? This is what. Yeah, it's, uh, well, the arrogance causes me to sit, uh, just butcher my score yet again. Decision marker was a little bit before the bit of tarmac that is visual. So, what we will do is we will aim for what is before. So, and these flaps are quite responsive, yeah. They respond quite quick, where when I press the deploy flaps button, they're, they're down. It's probably because this plane can't go fast, where normally you'd have like, in the A320, you're traveling at 400 knots, and, and the flaps are massive, that when you press the deploy flaps, it takes a while for it to overcome the, the wind, as well as because they're massive flaps, there's a lot of hydraulic fluid needs to get to them. Whereas a little dinky plane like this, traveling at, well, as I was landing, it was like 75 miles an hour. Um, it can, I can imagine it's just like, look at it, the flaps are already down completely. So yeah, as I said, 
earlier, the flaps make it so the plane comes in like this. It makes it just that little bit easier. Okay, I bounced last time, so we mustn't do that. I think I might actually even stall before I get there. I'm traveling at 50 knots. I don't know what the stall speed of this plane is, but... I mean, it just beeped at me then. This is such a really awkward one. Oh, that was awful smoothness, but I mean... But I mean, I stopped quick. I was on the blue marker. I mean, I wouldn't be too comfortable if that was my plane. Again. But. B? Damn. Alright. I think we will. Uh, look at the precision. Damn, the smoothness. Where's FPM? Don't know that. But whatever it is, it means that that plane was not comfortable. They beat all my friends. I don't think I have many friends to play this game. No, I don't, see? So, uh, so that means we're on top of the friends list. Leaderboard, everyone, we did it. <laughs> Where does that put me in the world, out of curiosity? 50,000. Wow, that's awful. So even, even, did you hear that? The dog disagrees as well. Disagrees with that score. I know, I, I disappointed you, Ray. I apologise. Right, we'll get there. Yeah, they, they, they take a few attempts and also, like flying a plane, you think that you'll be able to just land, try again, try again, try again. They're yeah, like sort of going into it. You're like, oh, fair enough. Now I need to line up the plane and, and uh, crash into the sea a few times before doing it. So if we look at the list at the moment, this is what we've got. Landing attempts. We want to do we want to do the epic ones. I don't want to do ones that are just just famous. I mean, that's, what's the point in there? We want the epic ones, which are difficult, like that the tiny runway one and the one where you can't see it. These strong winds one look fun. I'm awful at putting like trim on, which is what helps you counteract wind. So I reckon that will be a funny challenge to do. I reckon the strong wind one's next, actually. I reckon we bust out the strong wind ones and then we make a return, epic return to the epic uh, uh, runways. Because that's the big planes where it's like, you need to be thinking a year in advance before turning the plane. So that'll be quite a pain in the ass. But either way, I think that's it for today. Um, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one, which uh, will probably be either a long haul flight going to one of the south southern islands uh, of Japan, or one of the Ring of Fire islands. Or it'll be going to crash into the sea because oh, the winds are too strong because I'm trying these stupid challenges, which I suck at. All right. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all soon.